upload that for you. Oh! guys welcome to another week in my life vlog this week we're really changing things up we're going back into a healthy routine I'm starting this like gut health protocol I'm not gonna go too in detail it's not gonna be triggering I'm just gonna like share things that I'm adding throughout like nothing like too crazy on the vlogs but honestly it consists of a lot of bone broth and we know how much I love bone broth Dom is here still she's never leaving it is 48 degrees outside we're gonna go on a morning walk this week for our workouts, we're just gonna do like four mile walks, maybe like a little bit of Pilates or like a Megan Roop class. Dom, you would love Megan Roop workouts because they're like dance workouts. Oh. Yeah. That's fun. Oh. Um, so you, I'm just trying to make sure I'm hearing everything correctly. You said four miles? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure. That's not the number that I heard, but yeah, great. Yeah. Hey. Health is wealth. <laughs> Health is wealth, baby. Subscribe. We stopped at Whole Foods on our walk, giving you a little tea haul. We have chamomile, peppermint, and ginger. I think I'm gonna do ginger tea. Okay, I'm trying bare bones bone broth. I've been trying a ton of different new bone broths. How many times can I say bone broth in one sentence? As we know, I love bone broth and it's actually something that my like nutritionist and stuff has been recommending. Here we are. It's gonna be way too hot. I made some for me and Dom. Happy Tuesday, it is November 2nd, the day that my tree goes up. I waited a full day. All morning, I have been editing. I have had so much editing and computer work to catch up on, and I woke up this morning like in the mood to do it, and I got it all done, and I feel free. Today, we put the tree up. Dom does not want to help me, but it's fine. You guys want to know what you're propped up on right now? Let me, let me, um, let me hear your imagination. You guys are currently propped up on a Ray Dunn mug. Where are my scissors? Do what you will. Tom, oh, I have two pairs of scissors that are missing. They're over there. Oh. I've, I've, got, ah! I've got the scissors out for you. Mm, I'm sure I left them there last night. No. We have a package from Recess right now, guys. Um, I love Recess drinks for... Like helping with anxiety, especially at night. Especially, honestly, if you don't drink or you're trying to not drink, recess is a good option. It's getting hot in this sweater. Of course, I'm wearing my skin's pajamas. Pajamas are not coming off all day. I've already decided it's gloomy, it's cold, we're putting the tree up. More for like the experience. Got recess, mood, calm, cool, collected powder. They're great. You can use code KENZY15. Oh, my phone's dying. All right, guys, I just had sprouts delivered. We basically just got a lot of like organic vegetables bone broth, um, this is another new thing. I'm trying to just drink organic coffee. I'm actually not drinking coffee at least until like Friday, which is probably the longest I've gone, which I'm actually kind of doing fine on a little bit. I don't know, I'm just kind of surprised. But chicken, anyways, I have some squash. I'm gonna make a chicken vegetable bone broth soup. That is on the agenda. Also buying organic food is ridiculous. Like this all was, $99. I mean, granted, this is actually bone broth, though, and I did get a lot of meat. Bone broth is a lot more expensive than um, just stocks, but still. All right, guys, a quick break in the vlog to talk about today's sponsor, which is Stew Docu. It's perfect for this time of year. Not only are finals coming up, but so are the holidays, and you need to earn some extra cash. It's created by students for students. I wish that I had this when I was in college. It offers an easy way to make money off of the notes you've already taken. It also gives you access to millions of students' lecture notes, study guides, and book summaries. I love them. They support students in many more ways other than just passing the exam. Literally, just by sharing the notes that you have already made, you can earn hundreds of dollars. So, perfect. It's such an easy way to make money, and on top of that, you can actually refer your friends as well and make money off of that. Okay, so go click the link down below and start studying, helping millions of students out there, as well as making some money for the holiday season. I will have the link below. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Guys, in our friendship, I do all the cooking, and Dawn is really adamant about... Well, honestly, we're just hungry, so we want the food to be ready sooner. It really has nothing to do with... <laughs> 
I asked her, she's like, I can cook. And then I said, the I chicken. Asked her, she goes, can you cut up one stock? I go, what stock? <laughs> like, what? Just what? You want one stock? Okay. And then she like, realized doesn't that. doesn't even know what a stock is. <laughs> Okay, it is pouring raining out. We're watching YouTube videos, currently watching Julian Hunter. We made this very, very, very healthy soup, okay? Looks a little bit steamy, but honestly, it kind of sounds great for today. Guys, this is where we're at right now. I can't open this. It's 3.47. Like, you know when people are like, I'm weak? Like, it's this is where the turkey is. I'm not sure I'm good anyway. Like, you know when you laugh so hard? <laughs> Friday? <laughs> so, God. you know, it's like you laugh so hard, you're weak, but look, it's moving when you do it. So let me hold it. I don't think it is. It's Tonight's supposed to be cozy. I can't believe you did that to my bowl. I'm Hopefully I have the energy to put the tree up. Blessed. I did my part, you guys. I don't want Kenzie to twist the narrative that I was an absentee person. Let me show you something. See that over there? That pile? She put those up because she doesn't want to help me put the tree up. Fine. Exactly. So I just, just like, can't believe that you're literally Scrooge. I mean, I can't. You give him a type. All right, the Christmas music is playing. A friend of ours is coming over. I'm eating the last of the soup, and I'm actually gonna make more. Currently cooking. I mean, it feels like fall 2020. I have talked to the camera yet. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I just put lip balm on and I wasn't looking. It's a Summer Fridays lip balm. This is their new color. I like it. I just wasn't expecting that. Today's Wednesday. I've been working, cleaning all morning, doing everything. Dana just left. We've been working nonstop on gift guides. Towards the end of this vlog, I am gonna do like a what I want for Christmas portion. That is always so highly requested. But we are doing gift guides all over this year. I'm making every single one into a TikTok and reel. We're doing it on Like to Know It, which is honestly the easiest. You just go see it, everything's linked there. And then I saw what Maggie did, and I thought it was genius. I'm just gonna make one big Google Doc and link it in every video until after the holidays. So you guys don't have to like go back and like wait for me to say something, whatever, it'll all be there. So we're doing it in many different ways. Get excited. Gift guides are like my favorite thing of the year, and everyone is recommending that you shop Earlier this year, I honestly have a lot of my Christmas shopping done normally by like December 1st because I'm crazy. Anyways, I'm actually gonna make another soup. That's like been our thing. Okay, it stormed last night and it was like the craziest storm I think I've seen in Texas in so long. It's just so gloomy and cozy this week. We filmed so much last week that most of this week is like computer work. So it's just really cozy. I'm wearing a Soma set, obviously Uggs. We might leave the house for the first time since Sunday afternoon. Besides our walks. There's like a resale um, designer store that we've been thinking about going to. So we might do that today. It's just so cold and cozy. Like I just, I love this week. We're gonna make some more soup. I've just been doing bone broth, organic vegetables, and organic chicken. It's not my like Italian kale tortellini soup from the modern proper by any means, but honestly it's like not bad. I also like kind of organized my um, fridge more again. It's not like the most organized ever, but this is the broth that we've been using. I, this is obviously a lot harder to like keep because I have so many, some of them are in my freezer, but I like this a lot. It's really, really good in soups. If you use vegetable like stock or anything, um, bone broth is just a much healthier option. I love it. I also just drink it straight, so.
Alright guys, we're out of the house for the first time besides our walk since Sunday afternoon. Are you guys proud of us? I hope everyone's proud of us. We're going to Keeks, which is a basically like resale, a resale designer bag store. Honestly, we just needed to get out of the house and we've just been, no. It's been a, it's been a week. I, I can't talk to that. I'm really sorry guys, I can't talk today. We'll catch up soon. That bag is so perfect for TK. Oh, that is. Really they have like TK. all TK bags here. Let's all TK. Bag. Guys, this place is massive. Like, mm -hmm. it's so big. They have so many things. I found my official dream bag Chanel chocolate brown. I actually am gonna cry. Guys, that was like the craziest experience, experience ever. It is so like it's big. genuinely insane in there like, yeah they had like really great chanel stuff too we were just really stopping by yeah. um we wanted to see it because i honestly was, for christmas like yeah for yourself or for someone it was fine but amazing good. dope situation for sure a dope situation if you will um yeah, I was so impressed. Like, it was so big. That was the best designer resale shop I've ever been in. And I've been in a lot. Keith's handbags. Keith's handbags. So good. I know. No, that was the best I've ever been in. Like, that period. By far. Like, like New York, LA, LA New nothing. York, doesn't matter. Like, yeah. that was. And it's so organized. It's so big. Like, you guys can, I mean, you can see it. It's back there. So big. Oh, well, wait. We have to leave. We have to leave. Goodbye. This is just such a happy, happy time. Wow. Love a good ornament. This is what happens when you turn 24. Oh my god, that's so cute. <gasps> Ornaments are expensive, guys. Oh my gosh. Cute. If I knew literally anyone who was having their first Christmas together, like this is so cute. Wow. Hey, guys. We're at, we're at Free People. Which is surprisingly like Dom's favorite store. It really is. It's kind of like anthropology, but she actually like, wants to close. Are you kidding me? No, honestly, if you don't know you well, it wouldn't make sense. But it actually is like at the end of the day, that is your style. Wait, like the free. You need to pick some things up. This is what Dom wants now. I want that. Dom tomorrow when really? she wakes up like on our morning walk. My style is a 45 year old mother uh -huh. who had kids at 16. Yes. And married, like her husband's doing well now. They yes. started off poor, they're doing well now, and she can afford unlimited free people. That's my style inspiration. Yeah. Come winter time. Uh huh. Love that for you. For the record, I love free people as well. The sweaters that I wear like almost every day, free people, that coat, everything, I'd wear all of it. We just love it. We just love it. Literally, you like, these well, are like all the seasons would be on the ground <laughs> as I want. Dom, be, like these would be so fun. There'd be no sequins in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor Swift, I don't know oh, why. Did you guys hear her? But this talk is, give, is it not giving like it's fearless? It's giving fearless, it's giving Taylor, yes. Thank you. Oh my God, this is giving limited to my childhood. <laughs> Wait, this? Ew. Yeah, oh my God, no, actually. Wait. Guys, look at my new scarf I'm getting. Dom had to get it for me all the way up there. <laughs> Thanks, Dom. <laughs> I like pass out. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I'll link it below. That's so exciting. A new Ugg store is coming. I have a new shopper. Well, we did it today. Right next to After Voices, we're going to Bath and Body Works. I don't care who thinks it's lame. And Anthropology, like, it's my two places right here. I need some candles. I need Christmas candles. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. I mean, we go to Anthropology in every single vlog. And also, they don't know we exist, so <laughs> it's fine. They still don't care about us. They still don't care about us. I love what we've done with board games in the past few years, like Monopoly, that's so cute. Look at all of these. These are on my game night gift guide, but they're so cute. Even the dominoes. Love that. Also, it just looks good in your house. It's like Dom and I are next to each other. It's like, what's uh, Donkey Kong, that game? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh no, you guys are good. So cute. What's that one song? Like this was me when I sewed for like two days last year. I look like the little drummer boy. <laughs> I look like I'm going like okay. I'm gonna pretend I'm in the hall. Oh my gosh! I didn't see you there. 
That's it. Wow. He looked in my direction. <laughs> wow. In this beret. That's how I feel. Yeah. No. That's actually giving all my vibes. That's what's nice. This is yeah, nice, that's good. Honey. You know what I love? The peppermint bark from William Sonoma. I would kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I would I snap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, the apology. We're gonna leave now. We're gonna go. No candle sales, but I'll I'll survive. Dom just said, what's it called? Snooky doodle? Like Snooky <laughs> from the Jersey Shore, <laughs> not Snickerdoodle. It's because I got confused because it was like sugar Snooky. What's it? Snicker, Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Sugar Snickerdoodle. That's hard to say. You need to Walking do. in a winter where? wonderland. Wait, where's like, what are your favorites? Do you have a favorite? That's really hard to say. Sugared snickerdoodle. Every boy's house ever smells like this because their mom got it for them. Like in college especially. Say that, Kenzie. I buy it for my brother. I buy it for my house sometimes actually. Gingerbread marshmallow. I wish we could be experiencing this together. Do you remember the YouTuber who like would review Bath and Body Work candles? Like all of them. Yeah. All of them did it. It was like all of them. Like, no, 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 no. But there was like a specific lady. Oh, no. Like, and she would like tell you about all the deals. I like this branding. Grown up. I think this is what I need. This is my favorite all time candle. I think I need a cameraman. Yeah, maybe. Dom is obviously trying to get a lot of boys in her DMs right now. She just asked what crypto is on her story. Honestly, a really good idea. If you want a guy that's watching your stories to DM you, just be like, oh my god, <laughs> what's crypto? I feel like the guys that I like don't even have like $20 in their bank account right now. Well, that's something we need to work on, Dom. I've been there, and we it's not a good thing. Yeah, I just feel like the guys that I like don't care about... They... Well, no. Just kidding. <laughs> there. Like, they don't, they don't care about crypto. But the guys I should like care about crypto. Yeah. Well, maybe this will be a step in the right direction. Good morning, guys. Currently getting bundled up. I'm wearing this Year of Ours set. It has a matching sports bra with this top. It's super cute. Then I have this jacket on from Brandy that I'm gonna wear underneath the puffer. My Broadwinning Housewife Trekker, so cute. Available on November 18th, I believe. Um, I have some like socks and stuff. I just wanna be warm, 40 something degrees out. So we're about to go on our little morning walk and then get going with the day. Guys, Olive in June just dropped this off and you open it as we're being healthy, but I will oh say thank you. It's a water burger. You <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so we have this new manicure set from Olive and June. They have little instant mani nails. Oh, what a mani. Guys, and then it's a whole like manicure set. Oh, wow. I mean, it's just so thoughtful. Also, I just got this cute set in from Girlfriend Collective. These shorts, which I will only be wearing indoors from here on out. It is 40 degrees outside. And then this cute little top. Love that. Thank you so much. Gonna bring that upstairs. Time to get ready and shower. Making more soups. It's what we've been doing all week, but it's cold and gloomy. Like, what else are you supposed to do? This is how Fitz sits on the couch all the time. I'm off to therapy. Bye, Fitzy. Bye. He doesn't care about me. Coco cares. You don't. Loving the tree, everyone. All right, guys, it is Thursday. I'm about to go into therapy. I'm wearing my cozy skim set. This is my favorite thing ever. Also, such a good gift. It's day four of no coffee, and today, of course, of course, the red cups come out. Also, just wanted to say as like a little background, I'm going through like a gut health healing journey, trying to fix a bunch of stuff. That's kind of like what Dom and I have been talking about as we're like eating and whatever. It's really honestly not that bad and I feel so much better. I don't look at food as like good or bad or healthier or unhealthy or whatever, but just the food that I've been consuming has just not been... I just have not been taking care of myself in the way that like what I'm eating is like affecting me. Like I'm sluggish, I don't feel good. My mental health is kind of out of whack. My hormones are already out of whack. So I am working with a doctor and we're trying out new different things. It's only been four days, but I'm honestly feeling pretty good about it. Also the suits we've been making have honestly just gotten better and better. Like of course it's not like the tortellini kale soup. If you guys haven't made that by the way, make the Italian sausage tortellini kale soup. Do it for me, like just do it for me. Once I'm off this like protocol, I'm fine, but everything in moderation guys. I think I'm gonna get my nails done because they've been driving me insane like all week. I have therapy, it's gotten so 
cold and we haven't been drinking coffee at all this week so it's a combination of it being freezing and also stormy and gloomy and then also I'm sure not having coffee and I've just been like so cozy in my house all I want to do is get in bed and breathe that's like basically what I want to do at all times so all right I'm out of therapy I got my nails done I really want them to be oval but I actually when I have long nails they're always my real nails they got kind of trashed whenever I had all that nail drama. So anyways, this is what I'm doing. Um, I get dip and then I'm letting them grow out so that I can get the shape that I want. Um, but I just got like a little brown color. Good for fall, you know? Also guys, just started a podcast. Um, not trying to talk over her, but it is a pop culture podcast. So if you like do more, like not skinny but not fat, things like that, listen to hers. Hey, hi, hello. I have a few things to say. I'm in my room editing. I've been working here like way more than I normally do. I guess just because Dom's here so we have space. But I just want to say editing, I just texted this to Margo, but editing yourself drunk is an act I wouldn't wish upon my worst nightmare. First off, I don't even look like myself in this video. I'm not drunk drunk, but like we filmed a truth or drink video and it's just like, I'm never gonna drink again, ever again, after editing this video, so. Here's my house, it's an absolute shambles right now. So we're gonna put a timer on for 25 minutes and clean. We need to clean the floors, the dishes, trash, and like, declutter, which is not gonna take that long, actually. All of these jackets need to go away. I need to take them all upstairs. But yeah, we have my favorite candle going. I just lit it. Oh, also, you know what we got yesterday? Guys, who? Remembers these. Should we put them on, Dom? Guys, what light should I replace right here? Also, what do you think about like a nice marble fireplace there? I can get a ventless fireplace. It's just something I've been thinking about a lot lately. POV, it's 2012. You're watching YouTube videos about the Body Works haul. Did you watch those? No. Yeah, you did, because you told me yesterday. But I would just buy these. I didn't watch the haul. Oh, well, I didn't really watch the haul, did Do you remember Chris... But this was really where it was at. You had to get the one with the the bare mint, 100% natural mint. Ooh. Something tells me this isn't natural. You smell minty. A little snug. No. So we're gonna clean. Um, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna start with the trash. I'm gonna put these in the here. The Princess Switch here. 3? Like, I can't wait for that to come out. I can't lie to you guys. But it's just like, how many times can Vic, Vic, Vanessa Hudgens be herself? Also, how do they film that? Because it's like three of her now. They do not want to say Oh, yeah. They keep doing more and more. But I'm saying at the same time. But does she just keep becoming another person? No. She, there's two of her already. And now there's going to be three. Are you sure there's going to be three? They just showed in the commercial. See? Oh, wow. You didn't keep up. No, of course I don't. Anyways. Cleaning time lapse. Get ready, everyone. You excited? So excited. Teaching Dom a few things around here, right, Dom? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go through what I want for Christmas. Disclaimer, most of these things I have. There's really only one thing that I want for Christmas. Um, the other things I'm only sharing five are like things that I love and I think you guys should ask for for Christmas. I know people always wanna hear what people are asking for so they get ideas on what to ask for. Here we go. I made a little list. I'm working on some gift guides all week as we know. The one thing that I actually do want is the pillow tabby shoulder bag from Coach, the white one. I love this bag i've been thinking about it for months and it's one of those things where i don't know if i would necessarily like spend the money for myself but i would really love it which would mean it would be a great gift and i would wear it all the time especially because we're going actually to new york oh my god <laughs> can you tell i'm tired we're going to new york for new year's eve and i just feel like it'd be so cute in like the winter in new york you know so that is like the only thing that i actually want for christmas um but other things oh the our place pot now, part of me is like, I think I should have it because I use my Our Place pan 24 seven. Like that is one of the most used items that I have and I, I'm obsessed with it. I love the thing that it comes with. It's so good. That's another great thing to ask for. I'll link both of them below. But they came out with the pot. The only reason I don't have it is because I don't really have that much space in my kitchen. 
but I could technically get rid of my Dutch oven, but I use it every day. There's nothing really wrong with it, but I just love our place stuff. So the pot is up there. Okay, here's the thing. I love the Sherpa North Face jacket, but at what point am I gonna be incredibly over that look? Because I'm really overdoing it already. Um, the next thing I actually have on the list, that North Face jacket, I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. I'll link it below. It is so cute. It's everything I could ever wish for in a jacket. It actually reminds me of one that I have right now from like a newly rental subscription, but I think it is so cute. The next thing, um, okay, so like the Lulu Everyday bag, I have that little, like the belt bag um, that I wear on my walks in the morning or like to go to coffee or to go to Pilates or whatever. I use it all the time. And they just came out with one that's like fuzzy, like the Sherpa stuff, but it's wrapped. So I think I actually need this one. I wasn't crazy about the white and the black. I feel like I needed those, but I saw the brown and I feel like I need it. The last thing, of course I have these, but I, and I literally bought them for like everyone, but the Skims ribbed pajamas. I'm about to go upstairs, self tan and put them on because I wear them like every day. They are so good. I have a size small and I'm size medium, but I'm normally size like four to six. I would recommend getting a medium if you are my size, just because I like my pajamas to fit a little bit oversized. Not that they're oversized, but like the small is definitely snugger. And that's not snugger. It's like, more snug. I know, but that's just, why did I say that? The small is definitely more snug, so I would go to a medium. But anyways, love those. If you're looking for something to ask for for Christmas, I'm telling you, I'll have it linked below, as well as um, the Google Doc of all my gift guide stuff. But anyways, I'm actually, I've been working on this episode outline. I'm having Trey Lewis on the podcast. If you guys know the song, Dick Down in Dallas, or you guys have been watching the vlogs, that was like our song for weeks. And it was the title of like my friends here, group chat name, like, I don't know, like eight months ago. Um, but we posted at a piano bar and they were playing it. And then I tagged him and then he DM'd me. And now he's going to the podcast literally tomorrow. He's in Dallas and we're going to... He's having like a private show or something tomorrow, so we're doing that tomorrow. How many times can I say tomorrow? So I've been prepping for that episode and getting some videos up and just like computer work. It's been a week where I'm a lot more productive at night than I am in the morning. I feel like I'm really sluggish throughout the day and then at night I just am like, you know? Does that happen to anyone else? I decided in this vlog I'm gonna vlog through the weekend. So this is gonna be a long one. I watched Danielle's 45 minute vlog today when I was getting my nails done and I miss having really long vlogs. So hope you guys are enjoying this. Up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh my gosh, my Christmas mugs. They're back. Oh my gosh, I love Christmas tree. And then candy cane and the reindeer. I Gonna have some ginger tea with this. From Anthropology last year. Yeah. Very good. How could I? Oh my god! I have so many more ornaments. I was wondering where they went. And oh, we went to the Miracle on Commerce at the Adolphus. It's pretty expensive, so I took the mug. Wait. I'm pretty sure you can take it. You can take it. It was a souvenir. You say that about everything, Don. Don will literally. We'll go to Nobu and they'll give us the plates and she'll be like, no, you can take it. Okay, okay listen, what? listen, this all started last year. So no, when I was in convinced. Texas, when I was in Texas and we were going to all of these freaking festive yeah, situations, we were paying a lot of money, okay? And you're telling me I'm paying all this money and it's not free? Like that dinosaur cup? I'm sorry. You guys watched the vlog last year and we found out later that that cup, I mean, we it was are actually like $20. It was like $35. Well, like, come to find out, we actually. So I stole. Death. And here's the thing. You know what? It's crazy because Dom always says, like, when someone is like talking about money too much or what's your other thing? What are the two times that you say this? Or, yeah, when someone just flaunts their well. Or but there's like another thing that you, reason you say it too. Or if I just want someone to stop talking. Yeah, she says she tells us she's gonna rob them. Yeah. Okay. It's actually pretty funny. So we have a huge dilemma right now, Kenzie. What is this dilemma, Dom? There's only three stockings. Yeah. Well, you're not being, you're not staying here for Christmas. You just told me that. Hmm. Do you say? We only have three last year. <laughs> okay, you do for Christmas. Do you need another one? We can order one up from Target. I think that's these are from Target. I'm or they're from honestly, these might be from Oak. I'm gonna put a G on mine. So but if Target. I'm gonna put a K stocking up at my house. Oh, you're not even gonna have a stocking dog. 
I've never bought myself a stocking. I've never even purchased stockings. Mom's like the Grinch. No, it's just like we always my someone took care of that. Yeah. Well, yeah. My mom didn't let us decorate our tree because my mom is an interior designer. So like she like now she actually decorates people's trees yeah. for a living. Well, I've also never, I mean, this is the first year that I have, like, a big plate. Yeah, you have space for it. Yeah. So now I could do some festivities. I could turn into an anthropology. I have more stuff that I haven't taken upstairs yet. Dude, do you remember the s'mores that we had? I thought about it the other day, actually. Dude, I would love to go. They were so... That's what I'm saying. I can't keep up this stuff open? stuff during Christmas. Probably now. I'm going to have to seriously like, do anything. at the Dolphin? Oh, yeah. Oh, I have two reservations. So, we're actually, I technically have three reservations. God, it's so good. I love when everyone doesn't eat their part. Like, they don't like it. Yeah, I mean, you get extra. So, then you can have the extra. You guys, I'm in Dallas. It's already booked for sure. But really, always try to go to the Holiday Tea at the Adolphus. This is supposed to be a, um, a like time lapse clip, but here we are. It's just so good. Dude, I wanna go there. Well, if you stay until Thanksgiving, or for Thanksgiving, you can, because that was just the day before. I made a reservation for her, so. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. Do she's they gonna have laugh, love it, Dom. Do they have kids food there, like chicken tenders? I imagine. I well thought Dom was chicken tenders. So good for sure. She'll like, she'll eat what we have. No, she totally will. And I'll have her leftovers, so it's great. I'm like, yeah, bring so. <laughs> yeah. She's welcome, I guess. It's so good. I, here's my, my main problem with this tree. Like, my mom tells me this every year. I didn't spread out the tree enough. Like, you're supposed to, like, mm, and like, then, like, I'm paying for it. Yeah. Like, Here's driving me insane. Well, that, no, that one falls down like that. Uh, That's been driving me insane, though. That's my number one issue in life right now is that one. But honestly, like, when you leave it and go read, I turn off all the lights, and it's just this tree. Really? Yeah. That's so magical. And you leave me for Well, when I come in the morning, the lights, the Christmas tree is still on, so it's, like, really cute. It just makes you feel like there's... Do you it's believe in magic in a young girl's heart? Do you, you want to put up a single ornament, Dom? Like, how do you feel about that? I don't know even how to do that. This is the first time she's ever put an ornament up ever. Enough. Oh, that's where you. Oh! Never mind. I was just kidding. I think it's not your thing. No, no, no. no okay, but you might want to like, try to space them out. You, no, okay, like maybe not right next to one. Oh, yeah. Especially when they're both brown. Like, but it's like you keep adding, like, there's no more space on the tree. But you want to do it in different, like, so you want to do some, like, back so it's more hidden, some forward, you know? Oh, there's a Texas one. Of course. I love this one. All my cute ones are from West Elm. CB2, they're actually all linked on a Like to Know It page, all my ornaments. I honestly did my tree so opposite of how I normally decorate it this year. Like, I really just did it random. And normally, you'll do, like, a certain ornament, like, bigger, oh, then smaller, then bigger. I like this little mouse. Here are the new developments. So we have the garland, stockings. I've realized that I don't have all my tree stuff. I don't know what I'm missing, but I think there's more downstairs. Um, if you guys are ever wondering where certain ornaments are from, whatever. Honestly, it looked a lot better last year because my mom did it. Um, this was the least organized I've ever done a tree. But we will get the rest of it out. <laughs> it's, our, it's only November 4th, a.k.a. by the way, her sixth birthday. Can you believe Coco is six today, guys? Happy Friday, guys. I'm about to head off to the studio. I just got ready. This sweater is like so cropped that you're seeing like my crop tank underneath it. But I'm gonna be sitting like this, recording. So I feel like it's gonna be fine. I'm going to the studio. Um, I will update you guys in the car, but this sweater is Princess Polly. Jeans are actually Princess Polly. Always my favorite denim. I kind of want a size down as well. Um, and these exact same jeans just so I can have like a looser fit, a tighter fit. Like they're just the best. Of course, Uggs. My coat is from h and I'll put it on. Also, I have Marshmallow Fireside going in my room and it just smells incredible. So here's the full fit. 
you can't really see it now, but all right, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna wear this sweater. It's just cozier, big sleeves, you know? Look at my hands. I used a different self-tanner last night. So I've got some major self-tanner -tan hands going. Um, and then this happened. So it was a different technique than I normally do too. So just all in all, a bad idea, honestly. Have my cute little case to buy water bottle. I'm gonna pack up my bag and then we're off to the studio. Very exciting. We're recording intros and ads for the next few weeks and then also an interview with Trey Lewis. If you guys know the song, Dick Down in Dallas, it's him. It's just like really funny because that song just really took on a life of its own. Trying to make my hair like actually look smooth. All right guys, I didn't vlog in the studio. I just recorded for the past few hours. Feeling good, I recorded with Trey. The episode was really, really good. He's honestly like such an interesting guy. I need to go home and edit. I'm going to like a private show of his tonight, but it's not until like 11 p.m. So, have a night ahead. Okay, Dom and I have been talking. Dom, you, you could have been in the shot. I just thought you were um, making soup. I'm tired. I drove for some, I drove past the Starbucks today. Am I like, we could no coffee? Yeah, it's been horrible. Um, but Dom and I were talking and I was just thinking, you know how everyone like talks a lot of shit about people who like get married, have kids young, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh my God, they're such idiots. Like, what do they do with their lives? Like, what are we doing with our lives? Like, do you see my life? I just don't feel much better about it. Like, I think maybe, actually, they're right. We're wrong. Ever think about that? Dom, what are your thoughts? I think about it. I also think about the chicken sandwich from Honor Bar. All the time. It's, it lives in my head rent free. It's just like... I say as I'm eating my organic vegetable. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie, the soup is good, but it was like, you know the second you're like, I need to like get it together, and then like all of a sudden Starbucks is like breadcrumbs and stuff. I can't wait until I've done my bed, and I'm ready to go. The work day is almost done. Um, I just yelled downstairs for Dom twice until I said, I know you're ignoring me. And then she said, yeah. So <laughs> again, my words don't matter. It's so unfortunate. I haven't had this happen like this since I was in like in the seventh grade. I told Dom we're having a group meeting. So she's coming upstairs now, even though she ignored me. Hey. Oh, it's good to see you. Dude, I'm exhausted. All right guys, it is later. I just got ready for the night. I'm wearing a really bland outfit. I have the same Princess Polly jeans on, vintage Harley boots, a bodysuit, a leather jacket. I got ready in about like 20 minutes and I just fixed my makeup a little bit. We're about to head off to Honor Bar. You know when you like self tan and you just like wish that you didn't? That's how I'm feeling right now. We're going to dinner, we're gonna meet Presley and then we're gonna go to the Trey Lewis show tonight. It's a private show, he's like playing for something, I don't know, but we're going. It's at Ferris Wheelers, so my first time going there will be fun. We've made it to Highland Park Village as we do literally every Friday night, multiple times a week. Feels really good outside. My dream is to sit by the fireplace. Do you know how often I come here and I've never sat by the fireplace? They never offer it to us, mostly for the other people. Anyways, we're going to meet Presley. Um, I don't even think she's called her Uber yet, to be honest with you, so we're gonna put her name in. Guys, do you think I should get this pink reindeer, or do you think that Fitz would eat it? Coco would actually... Coco would, like, never come downstairs. Never, ever. They, they actually might be afraid of this. Anyways, it's so Christmassy. The lights are... Oh, wait, the lights are up, so maybe they'll turn on tonight. Why are they not on yet? They have the most beautiful lights in the village. So perfect. We're at Honor Bar, and honestly guys, Trey doesn't go on until like 11.30, so I just, I had to do an espresso shot. It's my first and only of the week. I'm really proud of myself. Dom, how are you feeling? Good. Adding a lot of value to the vlog. <laughs> we made it to Ferris Wheelers. They gave us some merch. Look at how cute. We're by the heater because they're really cold. Dom's heaven to the right. No, it's not. I'm sorry. This is like <laughs> my Wait, show them the koozie. They've been giving us really all of the merch. By the this way, guys, this one is for a little tired. It's for like men's <laughs> mental health, substance abuse, and you donate. What is the word what I'm trying to say? $15 of this shirt, that's $25, goes to help this foundation. I just can't speak tonight. Anyways, excited? <laughs> Found out the hard way, hearts ain't bulletproof. So, baby, one.
Guys, it is 2 a.m. We're just now back. We honestly, I would say that was probably my favorite night we've had in a long time. No. It was so fun. It we just caught up with the band. They're just so funny. Jeez. Like, I can't, I have not laughed that hard in, I no, can't. like, my face, literally, I'm, like, <laughs> right here. Like, yeah, my like, jaw. You know when you're laughing so hard, like, you, it's, like, sore in the moment. Like, my jaw, like, right here, <laughs> like, I'm gonna wake up with a headache. Because I'm just... Yeah, I constantly wiping away fucking tears. I love them. They gave me my shirt. <laughs> Trey Lewis. Trey Lewis. Here we are. Down. And we got here we go. Tomorrow we have another concert. My friend Drew is in town. If you guys listen to Drew Mac, listen to our podcast episode. Actually, I also have them with him, so I'll have that link below. But the episode with Trey actually will, I'm pushing it up, so it will be up, I think, by the time this vlog goes up. So, go listen to that as well, but, oh my gosh, it was just so much fun. Like, this guy tried to, like, kill me, but other than that, it was a good time, so. Oh my gosh, it. and I almost beat the shit out of him. Guys, happy Saturday. Um, it is the last day that I'm vlogging, and it's currently, like, 7 almost, and I'm just now picking up my vlog camera. We stayed up last night so late, slept in, and then I edited a ton of videos. I actually got editing done, which I've been putting off all week, so, anyways. We're going to see Drew tonight. He's opening for Olivia O'Brien, so we're actually gonna head out soon. Taryn and Wesley are on their way, and Dom and I are ready. I'm wearing this sweater from, where is this from? It's actually one of my favorite sweaters. I think it's Zara. This skirt is Princess Polly, and then I have my Ghani boots. It's very fall. Um, I was just not having it. I literally couldn't find anything to wear. Anyways, we're off to another concert tonight. It's really been, so many friend shows this month, in the past month or so. I'm gonna take these little pups outside. Guys, I'm dead. The fact that I receive PR and they tell me like on the basis of their launching in Sprouts. But this is a paleo vegan organic chocolate. Okay, so it's keto cups, dairy-free chocolate bar, brownie batter. Oh my God, that looks so good. Cho oh, coconut butter. It's made out of cashews, cacao butter artichoke fiber, monk fruit, and vanilla bean powder. Like that, those That's are all crazy. Foods. Hi team. We can, I know, yeah. we can eat this. This looks so good. <laughs> the guy with navy sheets is that you know that the guy with navy sheets only has them because his mom bought them for him yeah. because they know as a mother that their son is not going to wash their sheets that often mm -hmm. and you can't see dirt on navy sheets 